Hi, sir. How are you? Yes, sir. How are you, ma? So Fine. today, morning, uh, I forwarded some assignment in your group. Have you seen or not? Yeah, sir. I did check. Okay. So after completing of today's class, just to go through that one. So that is some previous year questions, ma. Based on the qualitative properties, some J level questions. That. Okay. So once you practice all that questions also. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sure. Sir. Okay. So. Then last class we discussed about the elevation of boiling point temperature. So today we will discuss about depression in freezing point. Depression of freezing point. Temperature ma. Depression of freezing point temperature and osmotic pressure. So I'll try to complete both. Okay. Okay sir. Now, so we'll discuss about the depression of freezing point temperature. Depression of freezing point temperature. Depression of freezing point temperature. So first of all, what is now the freezing point temperature? Ma? What we can call as a freezing point temperature? So what we can call as a freezing point temperature? The freezing point temperature is nothing but the temperature at which the temperature at which vapor pressure of the liquid vapor Pressure of liquid, vapor pressure of the liquid, and vapor pressure of the solid, and vapor pressure of solids, vapor pressure of the liquid and vapor pressure of the solid is called freezing point temperature. Is called freezing point temperature. Okay, so what is by the freezing point temperature means the temperature at which the vapor pressure of the liquid is equal to vapor pressure of the solid is called as a freezing point temperature. Okay, now we are discussing about the depression of the freezing point temperature. So what is meant by the depression of the freezing point temperature? What is meant by the depression? What is my here? What is my depression of freezing point temperature? So I don't know. You don't know, ma? No, sir. I want more clarity, that's why I'm checking. Yes. Fresh water is which is at 32 degrees. And minus 20. Uh, now I'll get here. Uh, here, what is the freezing point temperature at the water now? Generally. Water is going to be freezes at what temperature? Water is freezes at what temperature? Aditi, at what temperature water is going to be freezes? Zero degrees. Zero degrees centigrade. Okay, so water is going to be freezes at zero degrees centigrade. Okay, now, so whenever you are adding some salt to the water. Then what about the freezing point temperature? 
is the freezing point temperature is going to be decreases or increases? Sir, so it will decrease. It will decrease. Okay. Sir, what is the best example? Means, I don't know either you had seen or not, but frankly, I'll tell one thing. Okay. So, in summer season, somebody, they used to sell some ice creams. Okay. In our areas, they'll bring some vehicles. They'll come on the vehicles. Okay. So, they're carrying some wooden boxes. They're carrying some of the wooden boxes. In that one, if you see inside of the wooden box, means we have a two compartments. Okay. So, we have a two compartments. How many compartments are there? Means here, we have a two compartments in this one. So, this is the one compartment and another compartment. So, the compartment one is containing the ice creams, which we really, they are going to be sell. And in another con compartment is containing the ice, normal ice. Normal ice plus salt mixture, it will be there. Normal ice plus salt mixture. Actually, it is the ancient base. That means when we were kids and all that, it is coming. Nowadays also some places I'm seeing this one only. Especially in Hyderabad, some areas, they're coming with the wooden boxes only. Still. Okay. Somebody they're using as a freezers directly. Mobile freezers they're using. Okay. Now, so if you see in that one is why they are mixing with the salt to the ice. That is my question. Point number one. And if you want to check it out, means you can check it out at home also practically. Okay. If you want to check it out, means you can check it out. So how we can check it out means so for the so for the ice cream above the ice cream, if you place the salt, if you place the salt means the freezing point temperature temperature okay is going to be decreases. Sir, how we can say means simple logic. Ma. So what is the simple logic means if you keep the ice cubes. In the atmospheric air means slowly they started melting. Na? Slowly they started melting or not? Ice cubes are not all. If you keep in the atmospheric air from freezer, yes. if you move, and if you keep in the uh, atmospheric air means that means if you keep in the room means outside means automatically the, they are going to be converted into the liquid form. Okay. So here for that only if you add some salt salt powder is there table salt it is there okay in that ice cream only above the ice cream just to place the table salt and if you leave some time if you leave for some time means here it won't it takes so much time to convert it into the liquid form from solid to liquid it takes in the so much time sir whenever you add salt the freezing point temperature how much it is going to be decreases means here Minus 28.4 Celsius temperature is going to be decreases. After adding the salt, the freezing point temperature it becomes as a minus 28.4. But you are telling that normal freezing point temperature of the water is 0 degree centigrade. 0, 0, 0 degree centigrade. Whenever you add non-volatile solute to the solvent, the freezing point temperature is going to be decreases. Okay, the freezing point temperature is going to be decreases. If this freezing point temperature is decreases means, ma, so ice cubes are they can stay more time only now. So same concept we are applying here. What is meant by the depression of freezing point? Sir, what is meant by the depression of freezing point means? So whenever you are adding non-volatile solute to the solvent, the freezing point temperature is going to be decreases. Okay, that temperature difference only we can call as a depression of freezing point temperature. So that is also we can represent graphically. Sir, how we can represent the graphically means first I am taking the vapor pressure. Okay, so vapor pressure on the y axis. Okay, so vapor pressure on the y axis. Let us see. So here. Temperature I'll take here. First I'll take here like this. So this is the standard temperature. Okay. So this is the vapor pressure. So this we can take as a P naught. Sir, what is the vapor pressure of this one? Means this is the vapor pressure of the pure solvent. This is the vapor pressure of the pure solvent. Okay. So this is the vapor pressure of the pure solvent. So whenever you add 
non volatile solute so what we are going to add here you are adding as a non volatile solute that means the temperature of this one so temperature of this pure solvent we are taking as a t naught we are taking t naught we are taking here so but so whenever you add so some So whenever you add solvent one, solute, whenever you add the solute means, so then what about the temperature? Temperature is going to be decreases or increases? Decreases. Decreases one. Okay. Decreases. Now let us see. For this one, we can draw the graph in different way. Okay. So how we can draw the graph in a different way means generally, let us see. So small changes I'll do here. So this one we can draw for the boiling point temperature. Same only, but slightly different. Okay. So now I'll take a set. So I'm taking as a pressure on the y-axis. So pressure is correct only. So temperature we are taking on the x-axis here. So in this one, first I'll take like this. Okay. In this one, first one is it's represent as a solvent. Solvent. Okay, so first one is represent as a temperature. First one is represent as a solvent. So what is the vapor pressure of the solvent means that we are taking as a P naught. So what we are taking that we are taking as a P naught. And the freezing point temperature of the solvent we are taking as a T naught. So what is the freezing point temperature of the solvent? Freezing point of the temperature we are taking as T naught. For that only, if you are going to add solute, whenever you add the solute, it becomes as a solution. The solution freezing point temperature, okay solution freezing point temperature so you people are telling that solution freezing point temperature is going to be decreases so this point so this point we are considering it's as a freezing point temperature of the solution so freezing point temperature of the solution can be represented with tf how we are going to represent here freezing point temperature of the solution we are going to represent it as a tf so whenever you add as a non-volatile solute pressure also is going to be decreases now Whatever the pressure is that, that we are going to consider as a P1. So, how we can write here, how we can show the difference here. So, this one, so which one is having the greater the value? Either T0 or Tf is having the greater the value. Ritu, Sai, Akshit, Samhita, Aditi. T0, sir. T0. So which one is having the greater the value? Which one is having the lesser the value? Means T naught is having the greater the value. Okay. So whenever you're comparing the temperature, that means depression of freezing point temperature means what I'm telling that it is the temperature difference. It is the temperature difference between. So freezing point temperature of the solution, freezing point temperature of the pure solvent and freezing point temperature of the solution. So this only we can write as a TF. Okay, is equal to what is the freezing point temperature? The temperature at which vapor pressure of the liquid is equal to vapor pressure of the solid is called as a freezing point temperature. So, which one is having the greater the vapor pressure means P0. Okay, so that we can write as a P1. Clear? And T0 minus Tf. So, T0 minus Tf only we can represent as a delta Tf. So, what is meant by the delta Tf means delta Tf is nothing but it is the depression of the freezing point temperature. How we can define the freezing point temperature means it is the difference between freezing point temperature of the pure solvent and freezing point temperature of the solution is called as a depression of freezing point temperature. Depression of freezing point temperature is directly proportional to change in pressure. Change in pressure that can be represented with the delta P. So delta P is directly proportional to molality. So that means directly we can write as a delta TF is directly proportional to we can write as a molality now. How we can write the molality equation? Molality is equal to weight by molecular weight into 1000 by solvent in kg. Weight of the solvent. Weight of solvent. So that is the molality. Okay. So to remove the directly proportional, we have to take as a one constant value. So what is the constant we can take means 
delta Tf is equal to Kf into M. Okay, so delta Tf is equal to Kf into M. So, what are the terms? First, we'll write the terms more clearly. So, what are the terms are there in here? In this one, Kf is nothing but cryoscopic constant. Cryoscopic constant. Cryoscopic constant. And this also we can call as a, so depression of freezing point constant also we can call. Okay, this also we can call as a freezing point constant. Depression or uh, depression in freezing point constant also we can call. Freezing point constant also we can call. Okay, and what is new with the M? M is nothing but molality. Molality. Okay, now, so based on this one, how we can define? Okay, so how we can define the Kf? So according to the formula, from the above the formula, how we can define the Km? How we can define the cryoscopic constant? So cryoscopic constant can be defined. It is the ratio of depression of the freezing point temperature and volatility. This is the one definition. So what is the one definition? Ma? So cryoscopic constant is defined as it is the ratio of Depression of freezing point temperature and molality. And what is the another, another equation we can give means here? Another definition we can give means here. So what is another definition means? So cryoscopic constant is produced by dissolving of the one mole of the solute in one kg of the solvent. Okay. So cryoscopic constant is produced by dissolving of one mole of the solute in two. 1 kg of the solvent is called as a cryoscopic constant. What are the units of the cryoscopic constant? So cryoscopic constant. What are the units of the cryoscopic constant? Huh? So temperature means we can write as a Kelvin. So molality means we can write as a moles per kg. Moles per kg. If we simplify this one means how we can write? Kelvin into kg divided by both. And that is also if you simplify and you can write means here, Kelvin kg mole inverse. Okay. I think so you look at as the same units for the elevation of boiling point constant and depression of freezing point constant also you look at as the same units only now. Is there any difference it is there in the units, ma? No, sir. Okay. So there is no difference in the... So units of the elevation of the boiling point constant, that means epiloscopic constant and cryoscopic constant. Okay, so how we can calculate the cryoscopic constant at all means here by using the quartal method. Okay, so that which method we are using to calculate the epiloscopic constant is Landsberger method we are using. But in this one, which method we are using to calculate the cryoscopic constant and at all means Quartal method. Some scientist name it is a quartal method. It is there. Okay. By using that method, we are going to calculate the Kf value. Okay. And they had given some thermodynamic relation also. They are given some thermodynamic relation. So what is the thermodynamic relation? And here only we can write the formula. Na? Okay. No required man. I think so. Molality means already you know. Okay. Next to directive, we can write a thermodynamical relationship of Kf. Thermodynamically. How we can write as a Kf? Thermodynamically. Dynamically. So Kf is equal to how we can write ma? Yesterday also we wrote. How we can write as a Kf? Kf is equal to R into Tf square by 1000 into L. Okay. Sir, in this one, what is meant by the R means here? R is nothing but universal gas constant. Universal gas constant. Okay. And this one, Tf is nothing but freezing point temperature of the pure solvent. Freezing point temperature of pure solvent. Freezing point temperature of pure solvent 
okay and lf is nothing but latent heat of fusion latent heat of fusion latent heat of fusion if you know all these values means by substituting the all these values we can calculate the kf value got it still anyone you having doubt here so what is the no, formula sir. okay so in this derivation part is very very important and graphical representation also important okay sometimes we give some different graphs which of the following graph is represent as a depression of freezing point temperature uh, okay so without the following graph is represent as a elevation of the boiling point temperature they're asking so now understood now all of you here so what is meant by the depression of freezing point temperature and one more question also they're asking based on this one so what is the question they're asking means here what is the solution okay what is the solution we are using anti-freezing agent anti-freezing agent in cold areas for that one i'll make you clarity here actually in us uk if you see and if you see means here some movies uh some movies or something if you see means in winter season okay so snow it will be more it will be there snowfall it will be more is it right is it right or not yes. Okay, yes, in winter it is false, it will be more. And what are the water they are using? That is also, it will be in a solid form only. Okay, so how they can drink the water in the toilet? Okay, and so the car radiators are there. Simply what we can say is car, car radiator. Okay, so car radiators also to decrease the temperature of the engine, generally they'll place as a water. Okay, they are placing the cars outside of the home only. So when are they placed means when the snow is fall down means here inside of the water whatever it is there in the car radiator that is also it becoming as a solid only now. That is also it becoming as a solid. It is freezing. Okay, if it is freezes because of they'll get as a less temperature. So minus decrease temperature and not only you get. If they decode as a minus degree thing is centigrade of the temperature and total means so that water also it has to be freeze. If the water is going to be freeze in the car, either power is going to be run or it won't be run. Ma. They can travel in a car. The what are the water it is there in that one? It is going to be freezes. You don't know about that one. You know or you don't know? How many members you know support that one? Sir, can you repeat the question again? My, my question is, so what is the solution is used as an anti-freezing agent in cars? Direct question, in cold areas. What is anti-freezing agent used in cold areas? want options means i can give the options also okay options formaldehyde ethylene glycol like uh, ethylene glycol acetone none of this sir uh, is it propylene glycol ethylene glycol ethylene glycol ma. ethylene yeah, glycol is used other... as an anti freezing agent okay ethylene glycol is they used as an anti freezing agent so why they use this ethylene glycol as anti-freezing agent means whenever they mix the ethylene glycol in your water, automatically freezing point temperature is going to be decreases. Like now, so now if you see pure water, if the pure water is going to be freezes at zero degree centigrade, okay. Now whenever you add in that one salt, if you add the salt means what is the freezing point temperature of the salt solution? The freezing point temperature of the salt solution becomes as a minus 28 degrees Celsius. Okay, now like that, so whenever you add as a ethylene glycol to the water in a radiator, it won't be formed as a solid. That time happily we can roam the, uh, we can roam in a course. Okay, that time we can use the course. Otherwise, it is not possible to use the course also. Got it here? 
So what is the solution they are using as anti-freezing agent means? Ethylene glycol is used as an anti-freezing agent. Is that clear everyone? Is that clear everyone? So what is the solution we yes, used sir. as anti-freezing agent means? Ethylene glycol we are using here. Okay. So the series also joined the okay, right one. Now, next we'll go for the osmosis. But first, I'll finish the concept and we, one day we will do the calculations. Okay. Now, I'll finish the concepts here. But tomorrow we'll discuss the calculations. Okay. Now, we will discuss about the osmosis. So, what is meant by osmosis? Ma? Osmosis. Osmosis. The inflow of solvent molecules. Huh? Sir, is it the inflow of solvent molecules? Inflow of the solvent molecules, sir. Okay, inflow only. So, which type of inflow? How they can move? So, can I explain here? So, you all are not biology students, now. Nah? Is any biology students are there? I am there, sir. Ritu, you are the biology student? Yes, sir. Okay. So I think so. You know about the osmosis process. The remaining all are the bi non biology students only, na? math students only, na? Yeah, sir. Okay. Right. I will ask one question. Ma. So plants are there. Okay. So you are giving the water to the plants. You are pouring the water to the plants here. Where you are pouring, you're, where you are placing the water? In soil, otherwise on top side of the leaves. In how the soil, the, sir. How the plants are absorb water. That is my question. Because of in plants also, we are observing the osmosis process. Okay. okay. In plants also, we are observing the osmosis process only. Sir, what is meant by the osmosis means here? So, if you see, plants are having roots, stems, leaves, flowers are there. From roots to stems, leaves, and at all, how they are supplying the water means by the osmosis method of D. Sir, what is meant by the osmosis means? So, flowing of the solvent molecules, okay, or moving of the solvent molecules from high concentration to low concentration. Through the semi permeable membrane is called as a osmosis. Okay, for that one, to make you understand, I will write as a sum diagram. Okay, I am taking as a two compartments to make you understand for everyone. So here, this is the one compartment. It is there that I am making into two two portions, two partitions. Okay, in that one, these two partitions are separated by the semi permeable membrane. Okay, so these two are these two are separated by semi-permeable membrane. So which we can take as a semi-permeable membrane means here we can take as a animal cell, plant cell. Okay, so big bladder and egg. Your uh, egg one layer it will be there. White color layer will be there in egg also. You know, if you see the boiled egg, whenever you're going to be broken, my dear. So one white layer we can absorb. All of you will have egg or not? Will have egg or not? Everyone? No, sir. We all directly eat as a chicken. Aditi? Samhita, Sirisha. Yes, sir. Okay. So, have you seen some white layer inside of the egg bar? In between the white and shell? After boiling? After boiling, we can observe. No, sir. No, no. Okay. All of you will have egg or not? If you have egg, means once you ask your parents. So before giving, okay. So before uh, they are prepared, they will prepare and they will give you. Okay. So without breaking and after boiling, just you take it in your hands and slowly you can break. That you can observe some layer inside one very thin layer we can observe in that one. So that is only we can use that as a semi-permeable membrane. Okay. At the same time, animal cell, plant cells are with that. 
So that cells also we can use as a semi-permeable membrane. Okay, cell wall it will be there in animal cell, plant cell. That cell wall, whatever it is, that, that it act as a semi-permeable membrane. And parchment paper. Okay, cellophane also it act as a semi-permeable membrane. Parchment paper and pig bladder, cellophane. So all these are the examples of the semi-permeable membranes. Okay, now one side I am taking as a solution. So this part I am taking as a solution. So this is the solution I'm taking. Okay, so this is the solution I'm taking. This one is solution. Okay, and this side I'm taking as a solvent. So I'm taking as a pure solvent, only water. Okay, semi-permeable membrane, it allows only solvent. It does not allow the solute particles. Okay, semi-permeable membrane, it allows only solvent molecules. But it does not allow the solute molecule. Semi-permeable membrane is, it allows only the solvent molecule. Now we have taken as a solvent. Okay. And now, so this one, actually whatever we draw here. So we don't know, we can't find out any comparison. For this one, we are placing as a some meter. Okay. Water levels and all we can observe here. In this one, so when the solvent molecules are moves, from solvent to solution through the semi-permeable membrane. Slowly, the water levels are, the solution level is going to be increases. Whenever you're going to be observed, this one means here, based on that one, we can say the solvent molecules are move, moves from solvent, pure solvent to solution. That means wherever the pure component it is there, that we can call as a high concentration. This we can call as a high concentration. And this one is called as a low concentration. Okay, in low concentration, solution is contains less content of the water. Okay, so solvent content it will be more because of solute and solvent it will be there. So that time solvent it will be less it is there. So when the solvent molecules are moves through the semi-permeable membrane into the solution is called as a osmosis. Got it all of you? What is maybe the osmosis means? It is the process of flow of solvent molecules from high concentration to low concentration, that is the one. Or it is the process of moving of the solvent molecules from pure solvent to solution through the semi-permeable membrane is called as a osmosis. Got it all of you? Okay, all of you got it here? Now you got the idea what is the osmosis means? Okay, now so for this one, I can give one more example also. What is another example I can give means here? So girls generally, when the flowers are, they becoming as a dry or something. Whenever you place in your water, again, they treat or not? Yes, sir, it does. Okay, so they regain original nature, na? flowers and at all? So why that regain their original nature means because of that taking the water. So dry, how they become as a dry, dry means here by losing of the water. Okay, so losing of the water means in atmospheric air. So it undergoes the atmospheric performance of process, it will be that whenever they undergo the evaporation, they loses the water molecule. But whenever the flowers are again you place in the water means they regain their original nature. Okay, so why they regain, how they regain means Due to the osmosis process. Due to the osmosis process, flowers are they gain the watering in all parts. Okay. So that's why they regain in their original nature. So that is only we can call as a osmosis. Okay. And some vegetables and adults also. If they become more dry or something, if you keep in the water only, if they keep in the water, means they also they gain as a original nature. That is, they are going to be swell. So how they are going to be swell means here. Because of water molecules are, they transfer through the cell wall, the plant cell wall. Okay. So solvent molecules are moves into the solution. Moving of the sol solvent molecules through the semi-permeable membrane in the solution only we can call as an osmosis. Sir, what is mean by the osmotic pressure? So this is only main important concept to us. What is mean by the osmotic pressure? Now we had seen the osmosis. Okay, now 
what is meant by the osmotic pressure osmotic pressure so what is meant by the osmotic pressure pa the pressure required to stop the osmosis or the very, inflow of solvent very good ma okay so what is meant by the osmotic pressure means here let us see here one it is that so whenever you applying some pressure on this one so whenever you applying some pressure means here it stops the flow of solvent molecule from the pure solvent into the solution through the semi permeable membrane is called as a osmotic pressure so what is meant by the osmotic pressure means here osmotic pressure is nothing but it is the pressure applied on the solution which side you are applying here we are applying on the solution the pressure applied on the solution to stop the flow of solvent molecules from pure solvent into the solution through the semi permeable membrane is called as a osmotic pressure osmotic pressure can be represented with pi how we are going to represent the osmotic pressure osmotic pressure can be represented with pi here okay so pi is equal to pi is directly proportional to c mark here okay c r t c r t but in this one we are not take sometimes they won't write as a r in this one r is nothing but universal gas constant only but sometimes they won't write as r and t here so what we can write is pi directly proportional to ct pi directly proportional to ct so to simplify this one we can write as a pi is equal to c in place of r they can write as a t so don't get confused here r is equal to s r and s are nothing but universal gas constant universal constant okay universal gas constant but here we are taking as a universal solution constant in osmotic pressure we are taking as a universal solution constant universal solution constant we are taking solution constant what is the universal solution constant we are taking means 8.314 is the value what is the value we are taking ma 8.314 okay now this also what is meant by the c in this one so pi is nothing but osmotic pressure pi is equal to osmotic pressure c is nothing but concentration c is nothing but concentration and s is nothing but already we wrote as universal constant here t is nothing but temperature t is nothing but temperature okay so temperature okay now so what is mean by the c what is mean by the c any one of you concentration means what we are taking either we are taking as a molarity molality normality what we are taking in this one c mark here c is nothing but molar concentration so what is mean by the molarity sirisha what is mean by the molarity make it fast the number of moles are present in 1 liter of moles solution 1 liter of solution okay solution. so that means c also we can write as a n by n okay so how we can write the c value c can be we can write as a c is equal to n by b so if you sub if we substitute in this value pi is equal to n by vst okay n by vst if we simplify that one means pi v is equal to n st also we can write so this is the formula we are using to calculate the osmotic pressure okay some exercise